What's up, guys? Canada 12 here, and welcome back to Crush Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. When we last left off, we completed the final warp room. Actually, not really the final warp room, because there's still a bonus warp room left to go that we haven't done yet. But we beat the final boss. We beat Crunch one last time. We caused Cortex to throw a hissy fit. But Uka Uka revealed that we are not done yet. We still have to get all the time relics. And the time relics will lead to the rest of the gems, which we need to seal up the mass for good and defeat Cortex once and for all. So, with this, for these uh, relics videos, I've decided that I'm going to try to do uh, one warp room per video. So, I'm going to try to do all five levels in the first warp room here, the Earth warp room, in this one video here. Getting all the time relics. Beat those out. That'll be my goal for each of these videos. So I'm thinking, you know, this will be another, another five videos plus probably uh, two videos, two maybe three videos for the uh, final bonus warp room, and then that'll be the end of this project. Which I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss uh, recording this game. It's been a lot of fun. But anyway, like I said before, when I mentioned time trials, I'm not going to go for any world records. I'm not going for any specific relics because there's no real reward for getting uh, for getting really good times on the relics in this game. Unlike with uh, Warped, where you would get an extra gem if you got anything higher than Sapphire for all the relics. Nope. Here, all you really get is extra percentage, which I don't really care about. Oh, that's bad. So yeah, if I get Sapphire, I get Sapphire, it is what it is. I will try to be fast with these, but I'm not gonna be all broken up if I do pretty bad on these. Alright, so this Arctic Antics, level 1, back in level 1. Nice speed through the level here. Okay, that's gonna work. All right, 45 seconds. That gives us gold. So, in all honesty, relics are probably always been my least favorite thing about Crash games. But it's not like I hate them. This is the... It can get kind of annoying if you're trying to like speed through the level but you keep on dying and like if you're trying to go for a specific time you gotta be like pitch perfect and stuff. So, Alright, so here we are in Tornado Alley. Check out these uh... Gen these generators as fast as possible. I don't know the greatest uh, way of doing this. But this one's pretty easy anyway. We got two minutes, so we'll be fine. Alright. At least, uh... For me, the relics are at their worst in Crash 4. I will never understand the... I will never understand the decision towards for Bob made of removing the Crash Dash. That is one of the worst choices. The worst design... One of the worst design choices I've seen in a Crash Bandicoot game. I'm sorry, towards for Bob. I love, I love Crash 4. You did an excellent job in continuing the series, continuing the story and everything. Continuing from where Wolf left off, but I question, I really do question why you chose to get rid of the Crash Dash. It was a perfect example of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and instead you give us the absolutely terrible triple spin, which actually wouldn't be so bad if it's, uh, if there wasn't a specific timing to do to get the best amount of speed on that. I still haven't gotten out of my way to get all the time relics in Crash 4 and I'm not in any rush to do it because I'm just 
Ugh. It's bleh. Crash 4 is an excellent game, but if you're going for 100%, good luck on that. Good luck with that. Anyway, we got a Platinum Relic on level 2. Yay! Now we're going into Bamboozled. I mean, the gems are alright with Crash 4. It's just... Relics and the insanely perfect relics is kind of where I draw the line with completion in that game. I have gotten some insanely perfect relics. And a pretty good handful of them. In Crash 4. But I would like to get it, but I'm also, at the same time, not in any rush to do so. I really, really hope that with the next platforming crash game, they tone down the whole completion thing. They kind of just go back to basics with this. And you can argue with this game, they kind of put, you can argue with this game, they maybe arguably played it too safe with the uh, completion thing that pretty much made it quite similar to Crash 3 in terms of completion and stuff, but. If it ain't the point, we're gonna fix it, like I said. Look, and I love this game all the same, despite its flaws. I still think Crash 3 is a better game compared to this, but I still love this game anyway. I know I'm not gonna get Platinum Relic on this one, because Platinum is actually... Oh! Platinum is actually uh, 35 seconds, I believe, on this, and we've already passed the 35 second mark. But, like I said, we are not going for world records on the time trials. So I have to repeat myself a little bit times. I'm just trying to find some engaging commentary while I uh, speed through these levels here. Or at least try to speed through these levels. But yeah, I do really hope... Uh, I do really hope that they tone down the whole completion thing with uh, Crash 5 whenever it comes out. They make it more... Maybe make it a bit more like Twin Sanity. Ooh! You make it a bit more like Twin Sanity. You can make it more open world, like with Twin Sanity, and you can, uh. <laughs> you can. Like, just take what, take what worked in Crash 4 and kind of, like, mix it with uh, Twin Sanity. I think that would make it a really good game. Aw, oh, dang, we got stuff. Nah, well, like I said, no world record. no records. <clears throat> But like, from what I've seen with uh, Crash 4, I haven't done a whole lot of the time trials, but from what I've seen, they do this whole thing where uh, they like place, like see the, th like, see, the thing is with uh, time, like with the time trials in the old games, like this game and Crash 3, Uga Uga would always be like, but beware, some elements will change. And usually it do something like, you know, Maybe place the Aku Aku crate somewhere where there wasn't one before, or you can like replace a crate with uh, with a uh, nitros with, uh, with a nitro crate. Uh, but the thing is, that's pretty much all they did, and that really wasn't a big deal because uh, I mean it was pretty much. Like, the whole, the whole purpose behind the uh, time trials to me, like, with the relics, is to... Well, I'm gonna pause it right here. Like, for me, the whole purpose of a time trial is to test your knowledge of a level. Like, see how much how much you really know about it. Like, all the ins and outs of it and everything. But with, but with Crash 4, they put... They do this thing where they, like, place micro crates where there were obviously no crates at all to begin with, just to make it harder. Like, like that just kind of seems that seems like big difficulty to me. They, they place time instead of replacing pre-existing crates with a nitro crate, they put nitro crates in places where there were obviously no nitro crates to begin with, and that's just stupid to me. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm lucky. Like. With, that basically means you have to learn the level all over again just to like just to figure out how to make a good time in Crash 4 and that's ridiculous to me. I mean sure in a way you do have to learn some things about a level like you learn the timing with some obstacles 
like figure out like when like maybe in the Egyptian levels from Crash 3 where you like figure out when the doors are kind of closed on you and you got like the uh, crash you're taking like the crash dash speed of the crash dash into account instead of your normal walking speed but that's simple enough like that doesn't take too long to figure out it takes longer to figure out when you get like the nitro crates and the added nitro crates in Crash 4 and then on top of that you got the triple spin the utterly ridiculously stupid triple spin which half the time you might you might be in danger of just running it spinning yourself into a nitro crate or into like a TNT crate even and it just messes you up I just think that's so stupid I really hope if they bring back time trials in Crash 5, bring back the Crash Dash because the triple spin was stupid. It was just so stupid. The triple spin should never have been a part of Crash 4. If the triple spin wasn't a part of Crash 4 and I could just like Crash Dash immediately, like just Crash Dash through the whole thing. Ooh. I love Crash Dash. Uh, Crash Dash. I, I love Crash 4 more than I do. Like I still love Crash 4. It's one of the best Crash games. But the, what they did with time trials, as well as the fact that if you're going for 100%, it's a complete chore. It makes the game such a chore because there's like so many things to take into account. All the gems, the inverted levels, which I love the idea of the inverted levels. But what they should have done with that is that I feel like they should have made the inverted levels a separate campaign. Like, make it a new game plus thing instead of making it a part of the actual game. Because it just... Oh, I forgot that those scares are closely. <laughs> oh, dang. Could have done that. But yeah, they should have made... They should have made the inverted uh, stages a separate campaign. I just think that would have been much easier. Make it it's like it's like Adventure Two in uh, Diddy Kong Racing. In Diddy Kong, in, uh, Diddy Kong Racing, they made the Adventure Two a separate campaign rather than something you had to do to actually beat the game. Uh, I think it's much better that way. So anyway, that was my rant on why I feel that uh, Crash Four, Crash 4 is uh, infer inferior to all the other Crash games in terms of time trials. But otherwise, it's an excellent game. And wow, that's actually this is actually a pretty short video. Then these videos might actually be kind of short, or at least this first one is going to be short. Yeah, that, uh, that was all the uh, relics for the Earth Warp Room. Yeah, pretty short video compared to the other uh, Wrath of Cortex videos that I did, but they're probably going to get longer because these levels are going to get longer and everything. They're going to get harder, of course. So, alright, next time on Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex, we continue the time trials with the Water Warp Room. So... Thank y'all for watching. Hope everybody has a good day. Take it easy. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.